Confidants, welcome to the Hennessy Zone. I had to create a space specifically for the topics that we needed to cover that required something a little stronger than just champagne. Over here, we think and drink responsibly. So if you're ready, let's get into it. So first up, we're discussing a story out of Birmingham, Alabama with Mahogany Jackson and what I'm calling the Bama 8. Now, before we get into this story, if you're a parent on here, I really hope that you've pulled your children to the side and told them to take a good look at their frenometer gauges. I say it over and over again on my videos, whether it's a baddies video or whatever it may be, check your frenometer gauges because the level of friendships these days has me very concerned because why do we keep getting stories like this? Why do we keep getting stories like this? It was the Kanika Jenkins case. Then it was the Cabo Six case. Now we have this case. I remember another case, but I can't remember the name of the young lady that was covered. But why do we keep having stories of individuals being unalived by their so-called friends? It's because we have not taken out the time to understand who in our life are our friends. We don't even know what true friends are anymore. Friends do not stab you in the back. Friends do not set you up. Friends do not sleep with your man. Friends are not envious of you. Friends are not jealous of you. Not true friends. True friends celebrate you. They celebrate your successes and they cover your downfalls. True friends are there to help you back up when you fall. Not blast you on social media when you take one. I'm telling you, you better start checking your friends. You better start looking at who in your life is there for a season, a reason, or a lifetime. Because seasonal and reasonable people will walk. Seasonal and reasonable people will stab you in the back. Seasonal and reasonable people will watch you sink if it means they can fly. You better check your friendships. Check everybody that's around you. And put everybody around you in a category and know which category those individuals fit in. Because your very life may depend on it. Everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your partner. Everybody ain't a real nigga. If I say I got you, I got you. Didn't Mo3 tell us that? When are we gonna get it? This world has changed. It's not the same world it used to be. People are no longer the same. I don't know if we shifted when the CERN got switched on. I don't know if something happened during COVID, but people are sick. It takes sick individuals to do to this girl what these eight did. Sick individuals to sit back and know it happened and not say anything to be a part of it all for money for money you couldn't go out and make your own so you had to take it from somebody else i keep telling y'all i said in my other video the caught being ignorant unit yes yeah, an animated series a lot of times i put wisdom in the midst of my animated things because it's the only way people will listen but i said during that the love of money is the root of all evil. And people that care more about money than anything else are dangerous. Dangerous. Now we see once again. Once again, what happens when you love money more than anything else? You don't care about yourself. You don't care about others. You don't care about life, period. You don't think you're impulsive when all you care about is money because the money is what's driving you and nothing else. Stop telling people what you have. Stop it. We're in such a social media era that everything goes on social media. When you get your taxes, you're putting that on social media. If you win the lottery, you're putting that on social media. If you got a raise on your job, you're putting how much your raise is on social media. You get a new house, that goes on social media. New car goes on social media. How much money you got in your pocket goes on social media. Everybody's not happy for you. Some people are just sitting back waiting for you to slip up so they can slip in. Stop telling everybody every move you make. Because everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your partner. Some of the same ones that you think want you to succeed is praying for your downfall. And they're only around to watch it happen. And if I sound like I'm angry, I am. I am. I'm pissed. I am half past hot and a quarter to boiling because this baby didn't have to lose her life. She didn't have to lose her life. This could have been stopped 
But no, this is what happens when you have a mob mentality. This is what happens because not one of those individuals could have done this on their own. No, they had to have a group, an audience, in order to do something like this. And I blame Zeus. I blame Now That's TV. And I hear what people are saying. Well, why would you say Zeus? Why would you say Now That's TV? They have nothing to do with this. Oh, shut up, dumb, dumb Diddy. They have everything to do with this. Because they've created a mob mentality. They've glamorized fighting and jumping and mobs. The only difference is Zeus has boundaries. And the idiots that are watching the show that are trying to recreate it don't realize that Zeus has security in order to stop the stuff from going too far. In situations like this, there's no security involved. So there's no one to tell them to stop. There's no camera saying cut. And if Zeus and Now That's TV and all the rest of the platforms are not careful, they're gonna have the same thing happen. Because people don't understand all it takes is one punch in the wrong place and you're gone. One kick or punch to the wrong place and internal bleeding starts and you're done. That's what we don't understand why we're so entertained. But no, these platforms has made this behavior okay because you gotta be able to show this to get on the show. Because according to the show, this is what a baddie is. So now everybody's exhibiting this behavior for a chance to get on the show. But we have all of these girls out here really getting to the bag. Hairstylists, personal stylists, makeup artists, masseuses, fashion designers. Why not showcase that? But no, we want to showcase us looking like rabbit ass animals all over the TV for clicks and likes and views. And it's not gonna stop until someone is seriously hurt or worse yet, someone is unalived on one of these shows because all you wanna showcase is fighting. They're getting rich off your blood, sweat, and tears. They're sitting back making millions. What are you collecting? 50,000, 100,000? You think it's worth it for a moment? And guess what? If it goes bad, you can't turn around and tell the police and the judge, well, Zeus told me I could. Now that's TV told me I could. It's in my contract. Because you know what they're gonna tell you? You should have known better. You're old enough to know right from wrong. You made this choice. And while we're all sitting back so entertained, we must always remember, this is the future generation. These are the leaders of tomorrow. What do you think the world is going to look like when this generation gets in office? When they take hold of the reins? You know, the ones that we push. The ones that all they know how to do is fight. Use their fists, not their brains. What's going to happen when they become president, governor, mayor? When they run for office? What are they going to teach your little ones? Their little ones. I can't even imagine the terror this baby felt the terror she felt in her last moments, knowing that she was possibly getting ready to take her last breath. And she was there alone by herself, facing eight, being humiliated and beaten. I cannot even imagine. And the more I think about it, the angrier I become. <sighs> Let's get into this case. According to People.com, police rushed to the apartment Sunday and interviewed one of the now apprehended suspects, but Mahogany, who was taken to several locations during her kidnapping, had already been removed from the apartment, according to Wade. At the press conference on Wednesday, the chief declined to enumerate the different locations where Mahogany was taken or where she was ultimately unalived, citing the pending court case calling the facts of her unaliving absolutely disgusting Thurman added this is undoubtedly one of the most heinous acts I've seen in my career although police have not released a motive for the unaliving the chief said that Mahogany knew the seven suspects who allegedly videotaped portions of her torturous last hours he called the video clips a pivotal piece of the investigation 
On Wednesday, February 28, 2024, Birmingham police detectives presented case information to the Jefferson County District uh, Attorney's Office. After an assessment of the information, detectives obtained arrest warrants for the following suspects. Giovanni Clapp, black female, 23, of Birmingham, Alabama, for felony unaliving kidnapping first. I don't know if I can say that word. Um, we'll just say stratomy, first degree, assault second with injury. Blair Green, black male, 25, of Birmingham, Alabama, felony unaliving kidnapping in the first, stratomy in the first. Tasia Lewis, black female, 25, of Birmingham, Alabama. Felony unaliving, assault second with injury and weapon. Francis Harris, black male, 25, of Birmingham, Alabama. Capital unaliving, stratomy in the first. Capital unaliving, kidnapping in the first. Sanaya McCall, black female, 23, of Bessemer, Alabama. Felony unaliving, kidnapping in the first. Stratomy in the first. Jeremiah McDowell, black male, 18, of Bessemer, Alabama, capital unaliving, unaliving, stratomy in the first, capital unaliving, kidnapping in the first. Brandon Pope, black male, 24, of Birmingham, Alabama, capital unaliving, kidnapping in the first, capital unaliving, uh, stratomy in the first. All suspects are in custody at Jefferson Jail and held with no bond. With assistance from the community, detectives were able to identify Irana, some say it's Ariana, as a suspect in the early stages of the investigation. As the investigation progressed, detectives presented case information to the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office. On Friday, March 1st, 2024, detectives obtained a search warrant for Ariana Robinson for felony unaliving and kidnapping. Ariana Robinson is in custody of the Jefferson County Jail held under no bond. Giovanni Clapp, Blair Green, Taja Lewis, Sanaya McCaw, and Ariana Robinson all appeared in court. During the proceeding, the state presented details of videos taken while Jackson was being held against her will. The videos reportedly show Jackson being forced to perform oral sex at gunpoint, stripped nude, handcuffed, stomped, slapped, and spit on. Each of the five defendants were in court, were present in a portion of the videos. Investigators said during Monday's bond hearing that Harris is the suspect believed to have fired the fatal wound. A projectile was covered from Jackson's head. Jackson's family was present at Monday's bond hearing when details of the video were given. They're shaken. They're definitely shaken. It is one thing to hear a lot of what we call chitter chatter out there but to be in a formal setting and hear what happened to a loved one like that could be very disheartening, said Danny Carr, Jefferson County District Attorney. <sighs> this is sick, this is disgusting, this is angering, and this is extremely triggering. I'm getting ready to play for you a collection of videos and audios that I found courtesy of Leezy Fit on YouTube and Tink Marche 91 on TikTok. But before we get ready to go, I just want to say, please, please have a conversation with your children about their friends. And you do the same. Take a look at your friend groups. Take a look at who you're close to. Take a look at who's in your inner circle. And make sure they're deserving of that spot. And if they exhibit anything you can't trust, please move around. Move on. Cut them off and don't look back. Confidants, henna see, henna do, think and drink responsibly and stay true. Ta ta. He ain't going back to jail, so they killed. Him. After they found so out, so they that felt she like location. you were gonna tell on me. No, after they they found out that she sent the location because they pistol whooped her for the code to her phone so they could get in it. And when so they killed, she texted, she oh, texted she her, her mama. Hold on, hold mama. on, and, and they ain't got him at either. They ain't got him either. Let me see. His name out there. He was there. Yes, he the one that he helped out the body. Hold on. Let Just me show y'all these messages. Read the messages. What the message say? What you mean you a try? Something wrong. The police probably going to be on. One had forty two dollars on cash no, out. That's why add money to the so what? 
That big fat shit ass nigga who they say is stink smell like a stink. No, that's that fat dude Brandy in the video when they had her outside find her naked. He kept on trying to break it up. He was saying he kept saying she hurt chair, bro. He he kept trying to break it up. He we weren't going for. It. He kept trying to. So why they got rape charges on him though? I don't know. And they say he's going to the feds. They say he going to the feds though. And then the okay. other video when they was in the house when they first started finding her, he said he was gonna go. When they first started doing the shit to her in the house, he kept saying he was gonna deal. He was gonna get the fuck out. They must call that was sweet. Why he going to the feds? I don't, I don't know. This taser on top of the girl while they outside fight her. This play that real right? quick. Play that. This scenario. This scenario. This, this taser. Just yeah, play that. And Don't that's show that's no right. naked shit because it'll no, block. I'm not. That's this. why I'm just. This just a picture. What? So you got the video to that? Well, actually, somebody going to be on the car. Man, duck that hoe out by somebody old apartment to come through the woo. He said, "D, I'm finna go on and block." So that's the D boy right D, there. D, D is right here. D is right here. This taser. Where it say tape. The three. So D is the boy who got on the on the live with the switch and shit. He the one that went down and told the police. He the one that went down there and told the police. So why he but tell the police he's involved? They don't know that that the police don't know that he that that these messages even are. They existed. tried to leave, but we found out shit back in the phone. That three eight one number, y'all can look that hoe up on Cash Up, and it's gonna bring up his. He's gonna bring, gonna up, bring up shit. Look that up on Cash so I better go pop up his picture. Then five nine eight number. I think that's the number. Yeah. Him, like, when the, when they forced her to start the boy dick and they put a gun to her head, they told him to come join. They said you already. So which one on um, made them on um, made that girl do some shit Taser, like that? So made Taser playing that whole shit. Taser with the mastermind that whole shit. It's a video of that too. He, Ch Taser was holding her head. And make her suck the boy dick with Tanaya, the gun to her head. Tanaya, yeah, they had the gun up to her head. And they they hold up, what, 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 you said it's a video to do what now? Oh, they're making her suck his dick with a gun to her head. And they beat her up after that because the dude was like, it ain't, it they ain't said, giving. They said if he don't like it, they're going to beat her ass. He said it ain't giving. That's when the boy went in and started hitting him. They was like, the you girl too fly. You not suck his dick right. Look, 18 year old boy. And the 18 year old boy, they forced him to do that shit. Yeah, they told the video. Video, they gonna kill him. In the video. Look what they did like that. The yep. grandma, they was like, they, in the video, he, they said, if you don't do it. He, he one of the ones who got locked up. Yup, they forced him. He, he was he going on. They told him that when the, when they forced her to suck the, the boy dick and they put a gun to her head, they told him to come join. They said, you already so fucked up because he was one um, made them, um, made that girl do some shit Taser. like that. For them doing that shit to that girl. That's all that ACO boys in jail. They forced that boy to help them do that shit. And then when they was in there making the, the, the girl suck his dick, they told him to come join. He up from the back. He was scared as fuck. He standing at the door. He didn't come tuck butt. Who was that big ugly hoe who looked like Scrag wife? Oh, what's her name? Yeah, that's the fucking ass hoe. She the one who slapped that girl like. Uh uh. She didn't want to slap. She she punched her and everything. Yeah, I'm talking about that big ugly one. That was her. Yeah. Yep. It was it was a lot of people at the house. It was but so many. It's niggas. two. It's another little eighteen year old boy. They told him and the boy Jeremiah the eighteen year old. They did them little boys. I got no record on this shit. They tried to set them children up. They told them children if they they want to party, they're gonna kill them. The other little boy was scared for his life. He told his sister what was going on. His sister told they brother. The brother called the the boy mom and the lady recorded the conversation. Little boy, the little boy told them they they put a gun in his head and told him if he if he told they was gonna kill him. They made him record them doing that shit to that girl. That's all of that ACO boys in jail. They forced that boy to help them do that shit. And then when they was in there making the, the, the girl suck his dick, they told him to come join. He up from the back. He was scared as fuck. He stayed at the door. He didn't come tuck but Who is that big uh, When don't show it, Jesse, because we don't want to put on his neck, but. They're kicking her. That's Anaya. And who is that on top of her? That's Taser. And Anaya. And then you can hear my eyes and say, you already beat my ass, bro. Just let me go. That shit uh, fucked up. You won, bro. You won. You got it. They still doing it. They still so that's beating the still end of the video? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Let us see it. She, is she naked? She naked. They're going to start dragging her naked and stuff. I don't want to show her naked. But you can hear, you can hear when Sonari told them to pop the trunk. So they did all that out there in... So look, I tell you what, don't show us the video, but just play it and let us hear. 
talking about when they had outside? Yeah. That was at the dump site. We don't show it, Jesse, because I don't want to put on that little bit. Sunday, and we just finna go on mute, and you just, we just finna listen to you, and just start from money. Yeah. That yeah, way we can have an understanding. I didn't come on, before true. you do this, write me on Facebook. I just did. She writing you. I don't see that. Nah, like, y'all yeah, shut the fuck up and let her talk. Time. Time. I said, yeah, okay, now. Who was she weak? Like, okay, what? two days ago. This is a woman that knows mahogany. We started from two days ago. Um, She joins Vito's Live. Okay, she getting ready to tell what she knows. All right, and but she trying not to give any names, but we already know that the suspect's names is kind of rolling out. So we may hear a name or two, but this isn't really the live that I wanted us to listen to, but I really want to go ahead and catch up. But um, while we here, she came on here, apparently she was close or knew Mahogany, okay? They were friends or at one point associates. I don't even want to use that friend word no more, but they was associates. And they was like, I don't know. I said, man, Tasha had something to do with it. Hey, the person that called me, I was like, what, who was she weak? Like, where was she? You and then, like, I didn't come on. Before you do, mm -mm. I just did. She brought you. I don't see that. Had to hey, start it over. Uh, I'm trying to remember the names, y'all. But I got to call it. Had, 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 he was like, man, you know Tasia be on that type of time. I said, yeah, Tasia had something to do with it. I said, watch about Tasia when come out, Tasia had something to do with it. The reason why she felt this way, y'all, is because she felt like Tasia tried to set her up at one point, okay? He said, do you feel like Lil D was there? I said, no. I said, because Lil D was on third round by 10 last night. I said, but it really ain't no telling because you know who she called for dumb shit like this. So that's when I ended up going live and saying that, hey, if they saying... If they saying... Come on, bro. Man, that boy tapping the fuck out that phone. If they saying she did it, I said, she for sure no did it. So that's when I called Ariana. Mm -hmm. And I, I was telling her, like, too. do you see this shit? And she was like, yeah, man, I'm seeing this shit. And Sonali had texted me. I said, uh -oh. what Sonali texted you and said? She said she didn't text me and tell me, like, how it started and then like that. They just told me that they jumped on the girl and got down. They made her get one of the boys' uh, head and oh. the boys took off someone. I said, so you telling me did this all that happened? I said, you don't know nothing else. She said, no. So I was like, okay, cool, bet. Then later on, that's when I found out from another homeboy of mine, it was recorded. Mm. So I didn't believe that they really would record this shit because that's just some dumb criminal shit. Mm. Why the fuck would you record you doing this shit? Mm -hmm. Then I get the phone call from one of her cousins that yes, it was recorded. Her cousin? Tasia? So, wait a minute. So Tasia just going around running her mouth? It's literally, people from both sides will call me and tell me something that it'll be posted, but I'm not leaving it. And then they'll call me and tell me, oh yeah, it really is this, this, this. I get what you're saying, no love. I can let, hey, I can let the girl turn up, turn up. You say Hold on, no, no, let her finish. Yeah. Go, go ahead, Tasia. So, when it came to the videos portion, I did know about the videos. I did not know who or what was in the videos. Mm -hmm. Because from what I was told, it was seven people. Mm -hmm. And seven people was in the videos. Mm -hmm. So when everybody got locked up, I'm like, oh, well, shit, they're going seven. I didn't want to know what was in the videos. I didn't find out about the beating and shit like that until Monday night when, they, when the cousin kind of told me, like, yeah, they did beat her and all of that stuff is true. Damn, the cousin know a lot to not have been there. But as far as what was in the videos and who, I never knew it. Never seen the videos. Until you skipping the part. You skipping the part about how you found out about who phone was the videos was in. Ariana told you. Exactly. Yeah, she was very smart in sending that information. What's so sad and what made my heart drop to my... What made my heart drop and made me back away from it yesterday was when I found out that, um, or whenever I posted that video, is when I found out that they went through her phone and in the midst of them going through her phone, I believe they were whipping her with the pistol, right? And um, and they found out that she, and this is what's coming from Alabama. This, this has not been confirmed by the police. I'm not a detective. I have to say that over and over again for the, new, the newbies. But, um... What broke my heart is the fact that she um, sent her out, sent out her location, gave up the phone so they can get the money, and then they found the messages. Could you imagine? I couldn't imagine the terror. I want to read it verbatim. She basically was telling them to send the police, hurry up. She sent them the location where she was. Um, she sent her sister because the, the messages that her mom posted I didn't see a location unless I overlooked it, okay? But I know she was telling her mom that she was in trouble, pretty much, and not to call her phone because, you know, she was in the midst of dealing with these demonic people. Um, so she didn't want them to call. She didn't want her to call back the phone. So he number the 26, y'all, at 1.48 in the morning. And I might stutter because I haven't read this all the way through. She said, she said to her mom, this is uh, mahogany to her mom, I just want you to know I love you. 
And if you ever need anybody, I'm here. Whether it's an ear or shoulder, you've done an amazing job of molding me to who I am. I appreciate you. I don't know, I think F, um, 4L means for life. I know you're the one, the only one who really has my best interest, so I'm going to listen and take heed to everything you say, Mama. I know, I'm so sorry for everything I put you through. I wish I can take it back, but I can't. But from this day forward, I just want to make you proud. It's not too many, it's not too many like you, Mama. You did a, oh shit. You did outstanding with the six of us. And I know I got to make you proud. I'm 20 and I'm ready to listen, Ma. I want to do your, I want to do hair like you've been pushing me to. So those are my next steps. That was her um, message to her mom on the 26th.